Visiting the George Observatory is an out of this world experience. So to help make sure you have a stellar time at the George Observatory, we'll put a lid on the bad puns and go over a brief list of basic do's and don'ts to help you make the most of your experience at the George. First, before you make the short journey to the George Observatory inside Brazos Bend State Park, make sure to purchase your tickets online in advance as tickets are not available on site. Simply go to george.hmns.org and don't worry, any links mentioned in this video will be in the description. Next, visit the Brazos Bend State Park website to obtain and pay the park entrance fee. This can also be done at the entrance during normal park hours. Now, as you enter the park, check in at park headquarters during regular business hours, and if after business hours, just drive straight through for about two miles and park in the Nature Center parking lot. You can't miss it. Secure and lock your vehicle before safely making your way across the road to the short trail that leads to the observatory. Don't attempt to cartwheel across the street, or really anywhere if you're almost 40 years old or older. For even more accessibility, you will find a ramp leading right up to the observation deck. This ramp is also great for strollers and equipment carts. It is also a great idea to check the weather before purchasing tickets or coming out to the observatory. If stargazing is canceled, check the email address you use to purchase your tickets for instructions how to reschedule. If it is not raining and it is just overcast, you can still come out. We will be prepared with alternative programming and expert interactions. Just make sure to dress comfortably and appropriately considering the weather. Stargazing takes place outdoors, so make sure to bring bug spray and wear closed toed shoes. No flippy floppies or bare feet. Also keep in mind that access to telescope domes and or eyepieces may possibly be limited. No matter what, make sure that while you're here to ask our astronomers lots of questions. They love to share their knowledge and joy of astronomy. All right, so now for the list of don'ts. It's not a long, harsh list, rather just a list of considerations to make sure you're safe and that everyone around you has a wonderful time. First, unfortunately, pets are not allowed at the observatory. For instance, because it's dark, doggies might get tripped over. Puppers can get hurt and so might someone tripping over your good boy or good girl. Unless it's a trained service animal, it's just safer for pets to stay off the observatory grounds. Also, along the lines of safety, no running is allowed on the upper deck. Not only is it dark and tricky to see, but the deck can be slippery in places. These slick spots can be extra difficult to see in the dark, so it's just best to tread carefully. Heavy footsteps can also jiggle any telescopes nearby, making the image blurry and even ruin long exposure astrophotography. So walking carefully is safe and great for everyone. Maintaining darkness is critical to astronomy and the adjustment of our eyes to the dark. So for this reason, it's important to never bring white light flashlights and never turn on your phone's flashlight and never use the flash on your phone or camera. Also, never wear any shoes or clothing that include lights because after our eyes adjust to the darkness required for enjoyable stargazing, even a dim white light can destroy our ability to view the stars for several minutes as well anyone else's ability around us. So while every ounce of my being wishes they made flashing shoes in an adult size 10, I know I'd still need to leave them at home before coming to the observatory. The George Observatory, like all observatories, use red lights for basic illumination as the red light spectrum causes the least interference with the human eye after adjusting to the darkness. Did you know that our eyes are actually extremely sensitive to green light? That's why green light is used in a lot of night vision applications. Neat! Anyway, I hope this list of do's and don'ts helps you to have the best experience possible at the George Observatory. We can't wait to see your dimly lit faces very soon. 